Swinging these around. I mean, granted, which one of you guys has Popeye arms that uses, like, the high-torque Milwaukee all day? You literally got to have forearms like Popeye. You ain't even got to eat spinach. But if you're using that all day, you're going to look like you've been... You're been going to look like you've been pulling on your weasel all day. What up, guys? CP the Tulotic. Woo! That's right. This one's creating a lot of buzz. Look at this. The Stinger. The yellow Stinger. I don't know. There, I'm guessing this is a bumblebee, a hornet. First of all, it's a hornet. That's disgusting. Uh, hornets are invasive, in my opinion. Uh, we need bees. March 2023. The limited edition 68-inch epic series neon stinger buzzes over two to three times. Wow. Hot tools. Snap on hot tools. Coming in hot. Let's see what we got here, fellas. Uh, the limited edition Neon Stinger. It's swarming with awesomeness. I got to tell you, th th let's, j let's just talk about this for a little bit. Because, you know, we just had a toolbox video. So, uh, um, I like... So, this little end cabinet over here. Uh, the, the little, so, there's the hutch and then the little hutch. I really want to get one of those little hutches with a side locker. With two large side lockers. I've got, I don't know why I've got this thing for this little deal I, I feel like this would be a really cool setup um but i don't understand why having two hutches there i feel like that little hutch is about all a guy a fella needs to be honest with you just a nice little workstation keep all your stuff in but maybe they have that as a diagnostic station too i guess and then you have your hutch so kind of neat but uh i like the modularity uh let's just be honest with you guys uh, Snap-on has Snap-on actually Cornwell's got a pretty good modularity Matco's kind of working on modularity, but Snap-on is really killing it with this modularity uh, As far as how much you can buy all these sec different sections to build a toolbox instead of buying a mr. Big now There's a lot of casters and a lot of sections But when it comes to moving a toolbox some of you guys that have moved toolboxes should understand that those big toolboxes are extremely expensive so uh more on this one right here 68 inches 30 inches deep uh, like i said always the three three drawer three long drawers is imperative to really getting some maximum storage personally i would rather have the 68 inch epic with all the long drawers down the bottom i really find that why why spend your time rifling through drawers when you can set them up for uh just opening one at a time you know have all your sockets in one door maybe all your sockets and ratchets then all your screwdrivers and picks i mean really is it necessary to have all the drawers to open up uh and if, as far as efficiency wise makes you more efficient than you know having to go to six different drawers when you're grabbing tools out just my thing anyways let's move along here uh just a little th th a little food for thought something for you guys to comment down there for and don't forget to subscribe and give me a like i appreciate it a like and a subscribe the likes we need more likes we always need the thumbs up they're free guys it doesn't cost you a thing just give me give a fellow a like uh if you don't like snap on still give me a like uh in fact if you don't like snap on go ahead and give it three thumbs down <laughs> you know it always will help out uh anyways uh <laughs> We've got the high power magnetic mat. Holy smokes. 159. Now, I will tell you this, guys, before everybody just veers off into the comment section. From a tool manufacturing aspect, I do realize that magnets, magnets, period, are absolutely ridiculously priced. And when you're going to sell these, or when you're going to build anything with magnets these days, magnets are really, really, really expensive, believe it or not. I'm not even joking you. I mean, they are just absolutely uh, ridiculously priced, but these do hold a lot of weight on them. Uh, does it even say how much weight it It doesn't, but it's flexible. They're nice. I, I don't know that I'm going to be spending $159, and I'll be honest with you. If you want to save some money and get a high-power magnet, it may not be this matte type, but Mechanics Time Savers has a magnet that's like 30 or 40 bucks, and it'll hold just as much weight as these. And nobody ever talks about it. I've done a video, and maybe I need to do another video on Mechanics Time Savers, but underrated, highly underrated, uh, not talked about enough, which they're 
selling a lot outside so i don't think they really have to advertise but anyways nonetheless moving right along we have some snap-on knives 128 128 uh these are the russ comer designs i have not seen these flipper for ambient over you know guys knives are always awesome snap-on used to really carry a lot of good ones uh these look like they're kershaw's slag knives um but these other ones up here don't look like are they are they kershaw's maybe they are, might be s-e-k-c -E uh 128 i kind of like i come kind of digging that the red and the black i don't know i'd probably end up with the black but uh 128 g10 handles those are always awesome hard carb hard, high carbon steel doesn't give the actual steel though uh which i would like to know the steel high carbon doesn't really impress me the type of steel like os8 or something like that would really make a bigger difference uh stainless steel handles for extreme duty slag 102 and then we have this uh snap-on ignition vef knife g10 handles once again i love g10 these are ken stagwick proven designs uh with a flipper and a ken onion assist so those are kershaw's for sure definitely all kershaw's somebody's going to tell me in the comment box but uh, I'm guessing by the part numbers, these are all Kershaw's. Are they USA made, though? That's the real question. <laughs> Moving right along. OMG. Some of my favorite. Let's talk about snap-on pliers real quick. The, tech, the technology of cutting edge. Our cutters give you exclusive snap-on advantage. The Vector Edge technology enable and power cuts along along the blade which means the entire blade is a sweet spot no matter whether you're cutting heavy wires cables ties springs steel and thanks to the full range of lengths you always get always be able to get the reach and handle application somebody told me one time that i shouldn't be cutting something with uh my snap-on pliers on a video well fellas there you go whether you're cutting and this is what makes the vector edge so appealing to me uh somebody said it i think was i might have been on i might have been a knipex guy uh knipex fanboy it might have been that said that uh whether you're cutting uh heavy wires cable ties or spring steel that uh and they said that you shouldn't be doing that with something with a cutter on that on um, one of my videos i wish i could go back and remember which one but i've only made 900 videos so here we go four inch cutter 44 35 49 28 51 look where's these hundred dollar pliers that everybody always keeps telling me about these are the same prices as knipex and uh in most re retrospect seven inch diagonal cutter 52 dollars 8 inch high leverage diagonal cutters $60.99 that's the 8 inch and then the 11 inch is $80 so E was the high leverage right here and then we have the long ones which I think I have just the long ones I might have the F only ones I have is F and I got rid of, I got those because uh, my Mac ones I found were Chinese now I will say this okay for you guys that don't want to spend the money on the snap-on ones, I will say I have been using the JD Tico ones, which are long handles, and they are made in Taiwan. And I got to say, not too shabby. And I'm sure uh, I don't have the snap-on. Or did I buy the snap-on ones or the Icon ones? Uh, no, I bought the... I don't remember what I did. But not bad. They're, they're, not as, they're not terrible. But I will say the vector edge on the snap-on is completely closed. I've noticed some gaps and everything else. There's some differences. Uh, the vector edge just holds an edge way longer, in my opinion. Anyways, eight minutes into this video. Blue points, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not even going to talk about these because I don't even like these and I wouldn't even buy them. I, don't, I highly re don't recommend them. For $111, or $111, go buy the icons, in my opinion. $144, I just, blue point has never been impressive to me. You guys, and you guys barely ever see it on my channel. I, I'm not a fan of blue point. Uh, if you're buying blue point on the Snap-on truck, you should be just buying icon, in my opinion. Uh, there are some cases where some blue point stuff is good uh, Extensions locking extensions. They have their blue point their USA made and then the full foldable mirrors which are made by Wildy uh, But you know, you have to know the difference and I don't buy those things lights Snap-on loves pushing the cordless lights. Uh, I would like to get one of the a lights. It's pretty stout Those things hold up 86 bucks 100 113 batteries clear up to 116 dollars now for the snap-on batteries ridiculous 18 volt lights 
I'm I will say I'm not a huge fan of 18 volt snap on cordless tools. When I talk about cordless tools, it's usually the 14.4 line. I'll be honest with you. Monster lithiums are 100, 105, 216 for a battery. <sighs> More freaking light. Look at two pages of lights. Come on, snap on. Um, we have neck lights. A uh, fifty-eight dollars and eighty-two cents. Uh, not no, excuse me, ninety-two dollars. And then we have B, which is the little foldable light or uh, the little pod pocket pod light. The uh, four hundred lumens ABS, fifty-eight dollars. We have C that the Ecarb light, which is the six to eight hundred lumens, which is a very popular light. One hundred sixty-three dollars is up to E. Excuse me, what is going on here? D three hundred lumen a, a, a rechargeable pocket pen light. Excuse me, eighty-three dollars. What was I looking at up here? B four hundred lumens ABS. Oh, never mind. I got that all messed up. Anyways, and then E. This one's the mini flood, but this is, uh, I believe that's, that one has actual, um, lighting, or, uh, has color control, I believe, 10 with mini floodlight, doesn't say in there, maximum of a thousand output, great opportunity, anyways, let's move along here, cordless impacts, now, I want to talk about this one, because this is something that I thought, I looked up in this, so normally we don't talk about uh, snap-on impacts, but I want to address something really quick here, because I was thinking about this, and uh, this kind of actually made sense for why I would buy A over B, and why I would buy the Snap-on Impact, which is actually, I don't need an Impact, but I was thinking maybe I would buy one because I kind of want to try one out and see. But, so let's, I'll, let me go over the reasoning why the Snap-on snap Impact is probably a really good choice. Okay, first of all, the price. 704.95. It's a little bit higher than the, than the Milwaukee. 500 bucks for the Milwaukee. But if it came up on a deal, you could probably get it pretty close to the Milwaukee price. Now, the other thing is, is the we've seen on the torque test channel the output right here. Our operating torque of 800 foot pounds, which is very very impressive, and the overall length or the length of it is 8.2 inches, which is also a useful thing. But the weight, 6.5 pounds. Look at the snap on at 8.2 pounds. The Milwaukee's pretty close to that. I don't understand why people want to use cordless impacts all day because of the weight, fatigue, these heavy impacts slinging these around. I mean, granted, which one of you guys has Popeye arms that uses like the high torque Milwaukee all day? You literally got to have forearms like Popeye. You ain't even got to eat spinach. But if you're using that all day, you're gonna look like you've been you've been look, gonna look like you've been pulling on your weasel all day carrying that thing around i'm just saying 1440 10,000 1050 foot pounds it gets great and all but i really don't see the necessary i don't see the need for it in most applications i feel like a will get the job done 95 percent of the time on cordless stuff uh and at six and a half pounds weight makes it a very uh viable option i feel like this is probably the best tool truck impact uh on the market for as far as well i mean the dewalt's probably going to be right there honestly the price and the weight on that one too is going to be really close but uh nonetheless that's kind of my thoughts uh so or uh impact let's go to the damage fashioner ain't no thing so uh apparently uh we got the multi splines uh we'll see if they got anything that's comparable to the rbrts or anything like that Multi splines been out forever. 25 piece set, 189. Uh, we have the 48 piece master rethreading kit, which is obviously made rebranded by Lang. 165. Here we got the deep twist sockets, 424.15. Well, that's about the same price as the RBRT, but they are made in USA, so I'm out on that. And once again, Blue Point. You can buy these actually uh, from. Uh, you can buy these actually aftermarket. Uh, way cheaper. I've done a video on that too, and I bought them. And they, uh, I have the mini twist sockets, which work fantastic. Uh, uh, there's Rocket Socket, and then there's uh, there's two socket companies in USA that manufacture these twist sockets. Actually, Rocket Socket and Twist Twist Socket, I believe is what they are. But uh, they're both on the East Coast. Uh, but they're both made in the USA, and they're both quality sockets. Nine piece. Twist socket set, 261, and then five-piece SAE shallow twist, 232. Tap sockets, which are rebranded from Lyle, which are clearly uh, twice as much money, 85.50. We 
We have the screw remover set, 4770. I don't even know if those things work. I've tried those before and never had a, huge, a lot of luck. We have the 19-piece extractor set, which is a rigid set, 153. So, no bueno, son. What do we got here? Uh, my favorite feeler gauge set of all time, and this is a must-have. I definitely don't care. 113 for the price. Uh, I like it because the handles, it's very convenient. All these adapters come with you. get your angles. Uh, this is absolutely one of those tools that doesn't matter. For 100 bucks. I spend the money. Uh, we have the flexible e-carb light, 145. Quick break, quick flow pressure bleeder quit, 750. Safety glasses, uh, aluminum lighted level. Have you ever needed a level in car repair? Maybe body shop repair? We got an apron. Wow, chemical resist. Look at that, 18 bucks. That's a deal on a snap-on truck. Anytime you can buy anything for that says snap-on for under 20 bucks, do it. So if somebody says that you can't buy anything on the snap-on trucks for only 20 bucks be like bull loney right there i got it aprons 18 dollars 30 cents i have the compression tester 302 i definitely did not pay that for it i paid 100 bucks for it on the snap-on truck and the used bin i love the towels too by the way 28 dollars are kind of pricey though they're they're up there and then the vacuum kit which is a rebranded uh mighty vac kit which i bought uh elsewhere for less than 100 dollars so that's another thing. Uh, what do we got down here? We got diagnostics. Uh, these are the HD sets. So uh, the uh, good old uh, Pro Links. So let's move right along here. Tire machine. <clears throat> this is a Ranger, but they do have a cool, a couple cool features on here. They don't show it. They got a bead breaker, uh, but the tilt back. Uh, I, I would definitely love to own one of these, but they are extremely expensive for what Snap-on wants for them. Till tall, tall, dark, and handsome. I guess I about said till. Uh, tall, dark, and handsome. Uh, we have here the one keeper, and it's yours today. There's your regions that this mar this flyer for March. Uh, great, great Lake, North Cor North Carolina, North North Central, Northeast, Northwest, South Carolina. Anyways, guys, that's the Snap-on Flyer for March 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.